Hey, this is Chelsea from digitalartteacher.com. Now that our layouts are complete, let's make a table of contents to help our readers see exactly what will be in our magazine. Making a table of contents is actually very easy. As long as you have been using your styles menu along the way, as I've shown in a previous video. Before we begin, we need to set some page numbers. First, go to the master page. Next, make sure that you're on the text layer and create a text box. Now go to type, insert special character, markers, current page number. You'll notice that an A appears. A stands for master. We want our page numbers to show up at the bottom of the text box and to be aligned with the margins on each page. Right click, then select text frame option. Under justification, align to the bottom. If you make your page number on the right side, you'll have to go to the properties panel and make the text right aligned. Now, if you go to any of the pages in your document, you will see not only your title, but what page number that you're on. Now, you may not want to have page numbers visible on every page of your document. The front and back covers, for example. To remove page numbers on these pages, go to the Pages panel, right-click on the front cover of your document, select Override All Master Page Items. Then go to the page number in the window, select it and delete it. You'll notice that it has changed from a dotted line to a solid line, and then do the same thing on the back cover. To make it so that page one doesn't start on the cover, right-click on pages two and three in your pages panel. Uncheck Allow Selected Spread to Shuffle. I'm also going to remove the page number on page two. Now right-click on page three and select numbering and section options. Check the box that says start page numbering at one and click OK. You should notice that the page numbers in your pages panel have shifted and the second and third pages now say two and one. And if you zoom in on the page numbers in your document window, you should see that they have shifted as well. Now your table of contents should be page one. So let's create this table of contents. Add a text box that spans from both vertical margin lines. Go to Layout, Table of Contents. There are a lot of options that you can change here. I'll just walk you through the most important ones. Next to Title, you can change the name if you want to, to Table of Contents. In the Styles box, you can see all the styles that you saved earlier. Pick the style that makes the most sense for the title of your contents page. Inside the Styles in Table of Contents box, if you have been saving your text styles as you work, you should see some styles in the Other Styles box. If not, you'll need to go back and add at least the title style in order for this to work. Click your title style and click Add. If you don't see information down here, you may need to click a box that says More Options. You should see some options open up for you in a Style box. Entry style will be the text style that will appear inside the content section of your table of contents. You can leave it the same or change it if it makes sense for your design. The only other thing we'll change here is between entry and number. This is the space between the different sections and the page number. Delete the contents in the box and then click the arrow beside the box and select Write Indent tab. This will make it so that the numbers align to the right of the text box. Now click OK and you'll see a loaded cursor. Click inside the text box you created to see your table of contents. The last thing you may want to do is to make your text box smaller so that the numbers are not quite so far away from your page titles. Hold Option as you drag from one of the side boxes. This will make it so that your text box shrinks at the same rate from both sides. And now it's your turn. Add page numbers to the master page and then remove the page number from both the front back covers and page two of your document. Then create your table of contents. Once you finish this, you can move on to the last part of your magazine, the cover. I'll see you there.